good afternoon good morning good evening depending on where you are hope you're all doing well today is the seventh day of october <coughs> invite your friends your loved ones do a watch party uh, hope you can hear me I don't know how loud I am, but <coughs> you will excuse me and we go with that voice or volume. It's pretty early, too early in the morning here, so <coughs> you will excuse me. We will work with what we have. God asked Moses, what do you have? And Moses said he had a stick and God used that stick. So what is available is what I go with. <coughs> what is not there, I don't, I, don't, I don't force it. I use what is there for now until when... You know, man always has something he wants all the time. There is a way man wants things all the time. Man complains, man wants. There is a way man sees things. Everyone sees things from their own perspective. So they, they judge people according or do things according to how they see them. They don't do things according to what the other person see so <coughs> you will excuse me and we go with what is available you can invite your friends you can do a watch party <coughs> let us pray heavenly father we thank you for today we thank you for your love we thank you for your guidance lord we come before you with your word Lord, I pray that you quicken the footsteps, you provide the data for the men and women who are supposed to learn and benefit from these devotions are mainly for people with projects, projects of any kind. There are some whose project is to get married. There are some whose project is to give birth. For them, they're investing in that. That is how they see their thing and that's how they want it. Some it is into the political arena. Some it is they are starting a church because for them, they sat at home and they were like, they had never discovered that there is a calling in their life. There is a purpose. Now when they've gone into a lockdown from March to October, they discovered that they can preach. They discovered that they can pray. Before we know it, they've started a channel. They have a YouTube channel. That is also a project. Someone discovered that they can teach children. Someone discovered that they can stand in a gap on a bigger scale. I've seen people giving out words. At first, it was the government yet we have. <laughs> and in my mind, I'm like, for you, you cannot stand in the gap. Lord, open our eyes to see beyond our, our human understanding. Lord, come and have your way. Come and teach us your things and come and help us understand the fivefold ministries and also understand that we are different and the Lord reveals himself to us differently depending on the call. What kind of call do you have as a person? Lord, I thank you. I give you praise. I give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name, I believe and pray. <clears throat> Amen. Mm -hmm. Hope you are attending the classes as a must. You need the fivefold ministries in your life. Trust me on that. Whether you like it or not, you need the fivefold ministries. This is not a human thing. God started it. You, whether you like it or not, to grow in your spiritual life, you need the fivefold ministries. I missed you, my friend. I missed you. I missed you. Never disappear like that every day. You almost caused a heart attack. That's not healthy. Now, 
you need the fivefold ministries as a must you did not attend the bomb i will leave it at that you're going to go and equip yourself time je tuli mu ya kwa jalo ya mnyindo what no ruja yo it is getting out of hand every single day some of you have started a habit of forcing God to speak because you want to keep the, the number you're collecting every day. This is not about collecting numbers. It is not about looking for who loves me and who doesn't. I already know who loves me and who doesn't love me. So be very careful out there. The, the season is bad. Kawitha kari. You will need to get somewhere and hold on to it. Because if that boat capsizes, you're in trouble. Marina balanced the boat in Uganda. And it is human beings that led to the death of people. You sacrificed one another. The time we are in, you don't want to be the cause of people's death. Simply because you're hiding people from the truth. You've been on a lockdown all your lives. It starts from families and it spreads like this. You've been on a lockdown. Because you've been on a lockdown. And some of you are forcing God to speak. You had better go and listen to the young man. You had better go and listen to Joel Bunjo. You will be surprised what God can do. You think God speaks to you. You, you don't know. You've not seen. And for us, when we are teaching, I don't come here to teach you only. I teach me and I grow every day. You have no idea. This journey has been rough. Very, very rough. When I came out and I told you I need a true friend, a real friend, it was not a joke. I did not think about the process of how it's going to be. I myself I got shocked. But trust me, I am a Ugandan through one one. And no one can take away that. And you can never take away the fact that I am who I am. No one will ever take away the fact that I have a heart for people. When God told me to come here and pray for Uganda, I did not just... That's a good thing. And the, the good thing, I get a name when these are devotions. Oh, Uganda, may God uphold thee. We lay our future in the hand. United, free, for liberty, together we'll always stand. Oh, Uganda, the land of freedom. Our love and labor we give, and with neighbors all at our country's call, in peace and friendship we'll live. Oh, Uganda, the land that feeds us by sun and fertile soil grown. For our own dear land, we will always stand the pile of Africa's crown. That is a prayer. If you don't know that song, get the words and write it on the template of your heart. This business of government to Yambe when you are the powerhouse. I've taken time to listen to different politicians. Nice manje tulaga. Ababantu bemgene tuletera. 
Okubira bakule mbeze. Eh hey, mama. I did not know how sick, how lame, how like people don't have anything they're going to do for us. You're still talking about the small houses you built at this juncture. When people are dying of coronavirus, you don't respect nothing, no rules, no regulations, but you also want to come and be our boss. Hey, Bananda. You're too naive and too ignorant. Hey, this is it. Intercessors, please go and pray and ask the Lord. Moses asked the Lord for Joshua to step in his feet. The Lord gave the Israelites Joshua because he had the spirit. But when I look at the guys you want to bring in the political arena, hey, yeah. Oli acha yomba, acha tuuli ranga wa ina music wakavi. Matters of national security. Hey, I'm glad I did sciences. Man, na angenze. Abasuma ati mutukola mtia. This is it. Kambaleke. Kambeo wanoko wanga chino ze champ chiri deko. I've never seen such rubbish. Oh, your rubbish gom gwenu kutuliti. Hey, banange. I think just go and do what you're good at. Politics mumuleke. To be guided them to young. Many never gamble, much like many amigo. God's God choose God's way. Leadership comes from God. Never gamble, never gamble. He wants a David. If you bring soul, mujak of chewing. Now, if you know you're an intercessor, kativayo bende kumavivi. Before God gives us to the Philistines, we are looking at Samson. Walugwe nasanze nga gamba yali chosen. Ne mutunuri da went yali chosen. Ngo msai gwali na kumutwegwe. Ngaba to 6.6k have liked the person's things. Nga no taina cha yoge. Nenda ba 6k views. Nenda ba oh, as like, wow, I love Uganda. Na yate mumpangu. I just, I just like the way you guys do things. Mumpangu. I'm in the publishing house. I cannot be a watchman. And look the other side. Katonda si mufusa. Nze katonda wange si mufusa. Ntingenda kutula wano. And again mele jewali iti. I don't know that good. Guamu man. Gwe amu man. And I am glad. And I thank God. For the family I come from. I was raised right. When I look around like this, umutungacha had another energy of telling us how much we are zingi. Do you know that we have good leaders, but because talina sente kujana competing anamu, avere yonasirika na avala babulabi. Me, I was of a view. Musigale mubintu ya muye muvade mukola politics mumuri. You're not taking Uganda to the Philistines. You're going to see who is a Philistine one of these days. Some of your friends are Philistines. Go to my Bible, you're a Philistine, you're a Philistine. Open your Bibles in Isaiah 59. Just read your Bibles. You're going to see who is a Philistine. read your Bibles, you're going to see who is a Philistine. When Israel sinned against God, because we have a tournament, the Bible says, humble yourself. Because for you, it is the season. I'll keep repeating it. It is the season that humbles you. You're not humble. 
Because when the season ends, we go back to business as usual. Now you go back to business as usual, Uganda. God is going to give you to the Philistine. We have a navy in Evaca. We have a nina for 400 years. They were slaves. The, the, the people who came from Canaan and went to Egypt, Bonani Wafani Wagwao, Falawe Yaman Yusuf Nafa, Never Yoka Wagunda. Never cover and your God sends Moses. Moses comes in the picture. We were from Egypt. Never die your life ya Katonda na nyig. Na ba kuba bo na never fa. Never go away from Egypt for forty years. Aba pia never yingi da kanani. Never took away never vira viva ita. Golo was a rich judges comes after Joshua. Mukama na damu na wa sindikida. We are looking at Samson. Never gamba. You have names. But I want you to go and look at that character in the Bible with your name. Look at the positive and the negatives. Moses missed out on the promised land because of anger. Rachel died because she stole her father's goods. And Jacob released a word without knowing that it was his favorite. David had his issues. You had better look for the character that has your name in the Bible. If your name does not appear in the Bible, you have a calling. It has a particular character who carries the anointing. You better go and watch out because it is getting rough. Open your Bibles in Isaiah 59. You're good at RIPing. <laughs> this time round in COVID-19, we just have surprises. Everyone, I want to have a single, you're all a, a shock. Like I look and I'm like, Isaiah 59 and verse 1. Behold, the Lord's hand is not so short that it cannot save nor his ear so impaired that it cannot hear. But your wickedness has separated you from your God, and your sins have hidden his face from you so that he does not hear. For your hands are defiled with blood, and your fingers with wickedness, with sin, with injustice, with wrongdoing. Your lips have spoken lies. Your tongue muters wickedness. No one sues righteously but for the sake of doing injury to others to take some undue advantage and no one pleads his case in truth but rather they trust in empty arguments and speak lies the con they convince trouble and bring forth injustice let us first go back up in verse in chapter chapter 58 and we see how they were concluding it when I go back up, and I'll start from verse, verse 11. And the Lord will continually guide you and satisfy your soul in scorched and dry places and give strength to your bones, and you will be like the, a watered garden and like a spring of water whose waters do not fail. And your people will rebuild the ancient ruins. You will raise up and restore the age old foundations of buildings that have been laid west you will be called repairer of the bridge restorer of streets with dwellings if you turn back your foot from unnecessary travel on the sabbath from doing your own pleasure on my holy day and call the sabbath a spiritual delight and the holy day of the lord honorable and honor it not going your own way or engaging in your own pleasure, or speaking your own idle words, then you will take pleasure in the Lord, and I will make you ride on the high places of the earth, and I will feed 
with the promised heritage of Jacob, your father, for the month, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Isaiah was a prophet. I told the children that one day we will cover, we will cover prophets. And if you go back to the first verse of 58, the Bible says that cry aloud, do not hold back. Lift up your voice like a trumpet and declare to my people their transgression. The Lord was talking to Isaiah. Isaiah is the prophet that told Hezekiah. The Lord sent Hezekiah to tell Isaiah to Hezekiah to tell him that he was his time was up. Hezekiah did not curse Isaiah. Hezekiah turned his back and cried unto the Lord because the message was coming from God. But human beings, you have a habit of turning to the fellow humans and you beat the human instead. What is so surprising, you also read the word of God. We continue. And to the house of Jacob, their sins. You see, every time it is the sins. That means the sin has separated Uganda. The sin has, Uganda is a study case. Put your nation in the place. Put your name. The Bible has Jacob. Jacob died. Jacob died. You see, Israel took three days to move from Canaan to go to Egypt. Only three days like this. When Joseph revealed himself to his brothers, he told them to go and bring his father. They took three days. There are things you've done in your life. It took you five years to do them. Now you've noticed and realized that things are bad. Now you would want to go back. You have to pay five years, my friends. You've worked with God for years. For you, you, okay, I'll give an example. I leave Uganda and I come here. I've known Christ all my life. I come here, I start eating the rotten food here in the spiritual world. I start to drink. I dress up like people here because it's the new trend. I start to fit in. Time comes and I'm like, I think I want to be the president of Uganda. The way I was behaving here, the things I've been doing, then I just wake up out of the blue. If you ever in your life want to be a person of importance, you have to build a legacy when you're moving. I told you I was listening to Miles Monroe and he said, your legacy is the life you live. You're not going to just come out of the blind and say, today I am building a legacy. And you think it will err. It, it is hard work to erase 30 years. It is hard work. But you're just going to put the new dress and you just, you need to remove the old dress. You need to pluck off. Huh. I taught the ego. I went on top of it. And I told you recently, I was wondering and asking the Lord, what does it mean to be on the ego's wings? I had to research deeper. Israel was on ego's wings. Israel could not do anything out of the 400 years of slavery. And do you know the other thing as I discovered? People who sit abroad and shout about their money and they, they say a lot of words to people back home your slaves 
you have a slavery mindset. That is why you sit and shout. It is because you have a mindset of a slave. If I start to talk to you, have a conversation with you, no vuma. I just know I'm talking to a slave and I don't waste my energy. There was a time a black American attacked. Me have been attacked by them. Black or white. That is a slave mindset. Because it is slave trade disturbing us that planted the seed of hatred. Is that God's way? Is that God's way? Is black or white God's way? No one is going to change the good heart I have. No one is going to change the things I've learned from my father's house simply because you are stingy and selfish. Because to you, I'm never a priority. I'm always a second thought. When you want something, I run around like a crazy person. When it is my turn, you don't have time for me. Trust me, I told you. I am a general. Giants walk on generous grounds. I will keep telling you. When I started teaching again, the kids with Miracle Center, I was teaching and writing. Sometimes we would have calls. I told them I'm an ego. It was not just a word. I have lived a life of an ego. When you don't know how to fly, I put you here because that's God's way. But the human way is to use someone and you walk out. But God's way, he never steps on, on us as rugs. After you get what you want, you just move on. And look for other people you can step on. When you discover that Inserico is good at something, you bring them closer. After getting what you want, and if Unsereko makes a mistake, that is trouble. You drop Unsereko after getting what you want. Then you look for Alice. And you make sure you pamper Alice so that she pours out her abilities. Is that God's way? Now, if Alice is so royal, she never questions your leadership. Now Alice is your best friend. Because in Sereko questioned your leadership, that is trouble. Now Alice becomes your slave. Because Alice is Tano, Kalina Jarag, Kat Esther Vavayo Nagamba Alice. I think you can also sing. Since uh, Evelyn has an idea of starting a band, she can put you on the front line and you lead the choir. But Evelyn, your rock choir in other fighting spirit, Tamanyi Nakuyimba, but it is her vision, Esther, Oyagara Kuba choir. Is that God's way? Israel had those problems. You're not the first one to have such problems. When Moses went up, to talk to God, Israel forced <laughs> Israel forced Aaron to build for them a calf. They could not wait any longer. Do you know what happened? You had better read your Bible. I love stories. Verse 2 of chapter 58. Yet... They seek me day by day and delight superficially to know my ways. As if they were in reality a nation that has done righteousness and has not abandoned, turned away from the ordinance of their God. They ask of me righteous judgments. They delight in the nearness of God. Why have you we fasted, they say, and you did not see it? Why have we humbled ourselves and you did not notice? Hear this, O Israel. 
Hear this, O Uganda. Hear this, America. Hear this, Europe. Hear this, Asia. Hear this, Canada. Hear this, Australia. Africa, hear this. On the day of your fast, when you should be grieving for your sins, you find something you desire to do. You find something you desire to do and you force your, your hired servants to work instead of stopping all work as the Lord teaches. The facts are that you fast only for strife and brawling and to strike with the feast of the wickedness. The topic is God's way. Choose God's way. You've done things, but most of the things we've done for years are not God's way. You're just hiding in them. I told you my lead is off. It went off on the 27th of September. Elijah and the widow, the lead is off completely. I don't want anyone to block my oil ever again. Whether I know how to bring out the oil or not, God will teach me. You never called me. You were not there. That's why you don't see me. You only see people that are... Never graduating, but someone who never graduated and you never watched, they are useless. They are useless in business, they are useless in politics, they are useless in church. The only thing, because your mindset is, Ani Akuti Kira. We have people who never graduated. When they sit to talk like this, you just put your degree the other side, do not do anything, do not gamble. Now, fat down, food, baby, chibi, twas, or mama, I just wasted all my years in school. The man or woman has not been in school, but the, when they speak, I thank God that I've gotten to meet people. When it is God given, it is not class. When God takes over your life, it is always His way. When you look at chapter 58, it talks about the kind of fast the Lord wants. strike. No hang strike. No vam no gamba tevikola. It is because you're not hand enough. It is because after fasting you go back to the old self. You have refused to completely ask the Lord to sit in that temple. You keep defiling yourself. And when you defile yourself, you go back. It goes, Bwabanga wamaze 24 hours. You go behind 48 hours. And you have to go back and run back up. Kwe gamba yo life eri back and forth. Back and forth. Because all the time we na yamba ye yamba. The time we are in in COVID-19, it is God's way, not your way. You have to learn to pray and stick there and wait upon the Lord. We will run and not grow weary. We will walk and will not faint. For the Lord will go before us. That is Isaiah 40. We will mount up with wings as eagles. Have you ever sat down to find out what they meant? Mounting up with wings as eagles. It goes and waits. Plucks off all the old self. God is waiting for you to pluck off your old self. You're not going to wear a new dress. You know what is so funny? Because you're the type who still has the bad character. When you find someone who scratches you like this the wrong way, your bad self comes out. Because you've never taken time to humble yourself. It is the scissor. Oh, I want to be a politician. Then you start trying to fit in the suit. Now you think a goal. You want to wear jeans. You want to be a queen. You can't even go to a guy. You want to go to a demo. You want to go to a demo. 
because you don't know these things. It is not your lifestyle. Until you change the old self. Gendol is a class here, Joa. See you now, do. There is no way you're going to wear a new suit. Go chat, do girl. Some of you are still struggling with drugs in there. Ugendo kujoku interview nga wina chikuwi. Ateka timuafu nebidi improved kubanga afunamu kasenti. Bojuteka mwoli tamanyanti mweli. Americans have improved drugs. But ambula nazo. Na ajikuwa, na ajinyua. No tamanyo na kumanyanti ya jinyue di. Na yogeda na wina yenga jude njaga mu system. Nga for you to understand that he's on drugs, you have to look deeper. You have to see in the spirit to see that. The rate at which you guys are lying is on another level. That's not good. Verse 1 of 59 says, Behold, the Lord's hand is not so short. Like you guys make God look so short. That is why you go into the habit of ayamba ye yamba. That is why you go ahead and start making God speak when God has not said a word. Go back and read John for John, the book of John, the whole of it. I want you to go and understand who the Holy Spirit is. Kagamba, Holy Spirit is strong, full and force. Because you want to keep the sucker of the small, the friends you have who don't see in the spirit. The only time you're humble, the only time you walk right with God is because you want to get out of that small business your problem you have. You've never given God time. Kati COVID namala agenda what? And we go back to normal. I want you to watch carefully and see people who have really really humbled themselves and you will also see those who have humbled themselves because of the season you guys are going to fight one another in your in your own parties until when the cream is out kubanga muina faji munji ategwe magalo tuletira mu political arena and you keep saying government yet we have Government ya kuyambo mtu alina katonda. The government is there to govern the country. To put things in order. So that to be a connect system. Because when I look at all of you, muina mindset za mwe. Mkola vya mwola wa 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 mwola Hey, you guys think sitting in the presidential seat is eating food. Well, you know, Kuwanga now would eat ginger, Mavik. So I've looked at some of the politicians, and the, not actually, they're not politicians now. They are not yet there. They want to come in the political arena, but they are bringing the mindset of their music they sing. They're bringing the mindset of their things they know. Bamule tamu politics. Politics is something else. That project is not for weaklings. That project by, by your own side. Because we have people who are still dealing in witchcraft. No one is getting a seat when your 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 stronghold is witchcraft. Because for you guys, you're always there to invent things. Now, Uganda, COVID-19, things are going to work God's way. Kuwanga teri ama ni COVID-19, teri ama ni covid It hit everything. It disrespected the big and the small. You have no control over covid it is he who has control until you do things God's way. That's the only time you're going to survive that time. But before that, you're going to see Israel time being rebirthed in our lives. 
It's already there, Byron. You're already living it. Because the mindset is still disturbing you. You had better read that Bible and ask the Holy Spirit to give the clear revelation of the Holy Spirit. You need the fivefold ministries in your life. You need an apostle. You need an evangelist. You need a pastor. You need a prophet. And you need who? A teacher. You're going to watch the EMP as a must. That is, uh, that is something that looks so small. But Uganda, you're going to see the results of not obeying instructions. I am the temple of the Holy Spirit. You are the temple of the Holy Spirit. God does not... Katonda teweta gamosa sura to choose who to use, when, where, and how. Akwa tevi siru siru biyensi. Na avu magani ava gez. Ave yita ava gez. You've joked for so many years. Think you know it all. When I read the Bible, most of you are empty as it comes. That small project is going to crawl for the rest of your life if you don't do things God's way. You don't want to be discipled? October is a month for discipleship. And we are going back to the basics because before COVID-19, the disciples and the discipleship and the teachers were all corrupt. The hard disk got corrupted and it has viruses. You ate the wrong food. The teachers are not walking the talk. They are doing their own things because they are in a place of royalty. When you question the leadership, you are rebellious. You want to take over. I told you, you need to have a why in your life. If you're the type you don't have a why, enjoy the dictators everywhere. You don't take me to do things I don't understand. You wake up now in COVID-19 and you tell me you're taking me for deliverance, I will ask you why. I told you. You want me to serve in your church and you're like, you have to take me for deliverance? I will ask you why. When you get offended, I just know there is a problem. I don't think twice. I'll be like, it is okay. Because the people who are doing deliverance need deliverance themselves. I am not going to get your demons into my life ever again. I am not going to get your demons into I get out of the service and I've learned how to abuse Pekeyaka because your job is to abuse people. Those politicians watch by dollar with it and send the sparks of the demons inside of them. Never gamba, your president reflected himself in our lives. Everyone has a bit of that man. You say he's corrupt? When I look around like this and in COVID-19, you made me go for investigation. You're all corrupt. You all users. You're all thieves of different categories. Behold, the Lord's hand is not so short. You've made people look at God as Tata ugo saba sente na agamba njakula. With God, you don't try out. With God, it is either you're in or you're out. 
people who have tried God, they got out. They are struggling to go back up. It is hard work. You cannot spend five years abroad and you waste them, hang around the wrong people. Then you land into problems and you think the rescue 911 will help you to get back to the same level you fell from. Yeah, when you have a problem, you call 911. They say, what's your emergency? It is hard work to get back to that level. I have live examples. Going back to the level they were on with people, it has failed. The same people they used to hang around with are the same people who talk about them, who spread words like it's a wildfire. It cannot be the same. When you take God out of the mixture, you look like the U.S. right now. U.S. has a motto, in God we trust. But U.S. has never trusted God. They trust their money and their power. And God is like, okay. What we are going through, the Lord sent Apostle Mlingo and he told them, they never listened. The way Uganda, you're not listening because Apostle Mlingo had a message for you. In 95, you never listened. 95 and 2000, how many years are those? I was 11 years old. I am 35. Those are 24 years back. Uganda, whatever you've gone through for the 24 years, you brought it on yourself. It is all in the small book you don't read. And God comes back with the same book. You don't ask yourself, why? I asked you to show me a child. That book talks about children. We are adults now. I was a child then. In my parents' eyes, I'm still a child. And to some people, I'm still a child because I'm not married. I don't have kids. To them, I'm a child. And I accept because the Bible calls us children. But are you doing things God's way? Just check yourself today. Have you chosen God's way or you're doing things your way? Simply because you want to be up there. Simply because you also want to be talked about. I also started something. So you have to do whatever it takes to force it until it, it is seen up there. Whoever questions it, that is trouble. The season I've questioned things and I've been hit hard. Because I am the type. Why that? I think this. You hit me hard. Now you took on my ideas and you used them. Because for you, you cannot ask God to give you something new. I told you, you are a giant. Who walks on a generous ground? When I look around like this with my friends, most of you are applying my ideas in your things. I came up and said you guys need to visit one another. Because I noticed that I'm becoming a problem, I withdrew. And you guys started lying about me everywhere. Ko Facebook ni mum blocking. Ko WhatsApp ni sigalange chifane. Never gamba when you cannot do something someone does. Don't waste your energy fighting. Ask the Holy Spirit to give a rebirth of what is inside of you. His way, not your way. Spoiling a name 
because you want to look for fame is a downfall of your whole life. That is not God's way. God, the God I know, Takola Nyigirako. He told them, the Bible said, Behold, the Lord's hand is not so short that it cannot save. God's hand is not so short that it can't take you higher to the level you want with your vision. Whether it is church, whether it is in politics, whether it is in schools, your association, Zemuzimba, Bulirunaku, me, I just look at you guys. Right now, I cannot be part of anything. Do you know why? The system vomited me. It cannot accept my hard disk, my software. No one can accept my software. So I'm like, okay, I've always wanted to be part of things that are already there. So that I'm also part of something. But I'd noticed and found out my software is a different brand. So I was like, instead of stressing and struggling, I have the hardware. I have the software. Why not put the parts together and produce my own computer? And those that will see that there is something in the new computer called Esther, they will always come and use the software and benefit and go to another level in their lives. I give wisdom for free because he gave it to me for free. I am one person with different things, but my things, I do it God's way. When I fell sick, my self-esteem went so low. I felt useless. It had to take God to take me back because it has always been his way, not my way. When I look at my life, it has been God throughout. That is why me, I don't fight for space. When I was in the house, I was in I no longer fix myself. I've fixed myself for too long. I want God to fix me. Enough of fixing myself with man. Behold, the Lord's hand is not so short. My God is not that short. My God is not like you. I tell you, Mnangi, Nyamba. Nyamba ni nechi zivu. No ngamba tujia kulava. Necha ne tulava, ne luli ne tulava, ne luli ne tulava. Then you keep quiet and you even stop talking to me because you failed me. God, we, we musa wale luna atampa. I have hope that tomorrow it will work out. If it doesn't work this year, I have hope that it will work next year. That has always been my life. Why? I don't want to vomit things I've eaten when they're not ready. I don't want to go through that life. I've seen people who have gone through the life of Ayamba, Yeyamba, Bagamba, Bali, Agresi, Zinayingira, Unevamuli, Achivok. I don't want that. Behold, the Lord's hand is not so short that it cannot serve, nor his hand so impaired that it cannot hear. Uganda, God is willing and ready to take us out of the misery, to take us out of poverty. But it doesn't make sense for you to lie about things. I told you, what do you gain to lie about your father simply because you want people to love you so much? What do you gain? They will love you today. But when that truth comes out, they are going to drop you and it will be your father to carry you. I am ready to carry my friends. Because that has always been my life. I am the type who goes on the weak side and I find out what happened. I, I, I put there my, my, my shoulder and you cry on. 
I've done that for years. I know. I have experience in it. I always look back. I give gratitude. It has always been like that. They will drop you. Aba kulabanga tolina bulinga ton na fumbi wango si wuse. Nga negula wigi tojirina. If you if they loved you genuinely, they are always waiting for you like this. Behold the Lord's hand is not so short that it cannot save, nor his ear so impaired that it cannot hear. We've made God look like a deaf person that yet a wound. That when we try things of God and it don't work, we move and go and try out elsewhere. You're going to pay the price of trying out elsewhere. I have seen people pay for years they've wasted in trying out. Verse 2, but your wickedness has... <laughs> has separated you from your God and your sins have hidden his face from you so that he does not hear you. I told you the body does not get saved. It wants every day. That is why you wake up and go look for money. Because there is something new on the market. I don't really like wearing uniforms. There are things I love. I love simple life. I don't want to stress. When, when I stopped working, when I lost my job, when I went back to school, I decided to take back my hair into natural because I could not afford to go to the salon every now and then for treatment. Yeah, but I also want to be like other women. Nengamba, no, Esther. Stop wanting to be like others. Go back to the natural lifestyle because you cannot afford a jacuba. Your father cannot afford. Your mother cannot afford. You cannot afford. I am an independent person. I went back into having natural hair. I was like, since now I cannot afford, I'm not going to steal. Nange ukubela kumule imbe chote babali imba. Nze saga la kwe ya I use what I have in my means to be happy. Nengamba if guys love abachala, abaina wigi, abeko zeko nyango bebagala, nze nga wentunu la wenti mkanacho kangete vandaba, it is okay. The Lord will bring a man who will appreciate the real me. Because I'm not going to steal. My God, his hand is not so short. I'm like, God, my life looks very slow. But I know there is a, a, a destiny that is clear and safe. When I can afford something, I will use it. When I cannot afford, it is okay. Good enough, there are things I don't want. Kati iti chimbe lila changu to dress up the way I feel comfortable. Because that's Esther. I love my originality. That is why for me this year it is availability, originality, righteousness, the word of God and prayer as a lifestyle. I don't go to praying and in a I am the person who was, I'm the type, my friends who know who Esther is and that they don't just run their mouth about me. I have a friend called Winnie Grayson Zero. She said, we were seated and she gave a small brief testimony. Everyone was talking about the other, who is who. And she told her, we were four. And she said, Esther's other name is Katusabe. You tell her your problem and she said, Katusabe. And those days I was not working. Katinga naku wachi minyanga. Nidanga tukenda gina mkatusabe. But I will come and visit you. 
waliwe mili mjokola, I get involved. When you find someone shouting about money, just know they have a slave mentality. They are slaves. Because jebafu no busente, bakola nga alabi, bakola nga abadi. Immigrants, abali yewero, ababa tunza bu perfume of a one dollar. E Uganda ni mubu gula thirty dollars. Wanunga yaka guze one dollar. They are slaves and they don't speak the truth. Immigrants, the Lord told you to tell life abroad. He's tired of you lying about life abroad. Temulina jemubeira. Musulamu ntebezaba namwe. You work under the table because you don't have documents. Then you make it look like that is there is a life abroad. Nemule taba namwe atene mbai sabu wine mu planting other seeds of hatred. Because you work under the table, you don't pay tax. Bambi nebabere yongabala vichutu chakabi. Na yenga amazimagali. To ask those who have been on ground, they will tell you the life guys go through here. Because they don't pay taxes. I pay taxes. IRS. Aka sente ne kajia no katunuli na angatua ina na wakata andika. Nga wazi tutezo na. That is why I told the Lord I don't have insurance. Because in the rules, the time I came to the U.S. Baga amba ni na certain bia ni na kufulfilling for me to get insurance. Hence I'm not insured. And many people don't know that. Because for them, they have no time to dig deep and see what happens in a state they are not in. Some are diplomats. Hence, Tebiba Kuatako. They don't pay taxes. They don't get the point. People should stop lying to you about the U.S. The states we have are more than 50. And they all work different. I stay in a state, a government state. Ugandans don't love it because they are not popular. Because the government is not popular. They know every move of mine, including tapping my phone calls. You guys enter the US and you think they don't know that you're here. You think you're hiding. Katonda Rwana Kuva Muna Kwanika. Bagena Kuteka Kumini Bakuzi. Wamunga Taina Wadej Kum. That's why I told you. God has allowed you to stay abroad because you're an escape route for people back in your country. You're supposed to work and develop your own country. That country is struggling because you, 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 you're selfish. All you do is to go on live and abuse everything that comes at home. But you're doing nothing about it apart from pointing fingers. But your wickedness has separated you from God. That is why you cannot see that God can do it all because of the too much sin. And when you sin and God gets hurt, he sends you to the Philistine to be your boss. Concluding. Omufiri suti agenda kutufuga Uganda because you're too much soaked into sin and wanting to be rich. You fail to do what God wants. Omufiri suti yo yomkwano go yu go talabo yu. Kubanga ye chuntu wala mpolitika arena is to be rich ya kowe embere mbi. Every sitting. Kansa ukemwe kumufiri suti. Government workers, when they have to sit in a meeting, ngataina na chakoze aliku kusolite ya kusimu yenga aboge. Baba wa emituari jita suka wansi wa kumi orunako. Katigwe kapere wawe alieri atunde nyanya. Eh? No tulolo na kuluramba no himbe nyanya no himbo vulega teri agula. 
Now we don't know about to wear your community. Katweba janga wali mbamu. Ngababa wuza wuza. Ngabogirira wuvinyo government. Ngateba chali kumusolo kwa government. Bachali kumusala kwa government. Gwavalia oguva mumusolo kwa musasula. Ati ya mazimate mugagala katika ngababu. They still get salary. Their kids go to very good schools. They are still confusing us. Nabagamba, until you speak the truth about one another. You cannot stop, start talking about sugar. Nga toma ni what happens. To ingina nga kumbika jo imi dide na kukuwa no viengira. Abaga lo kulimba ni wako nyumiza. Jota abade. Nga mweri mba. Ne yala vya vulavi kutivi. Nze nava deye temusaga. Bamu kubye chukonde nze ngandaku. No mugu usaha yushu. Nti ye bamu kubye ngandaku. How is that project you're starting going to survive when it's all based on lies? You will fall one day. Ne wono yingira o na utufuga. Anti guafuka mfili suiti. Embele jaku njiga. Weju serachi wavayo muka business koka njiri ya kalika kufuni lechi kuminga. Tichiri mkulekani. Matichiri mkulimba. You want to be big? You don't need to lie about it. The truth sets us free. Mbulichua kufuni la mkulimba. Chigenda kubwa mkovid-19. And after COVID-19, everything you got, ngatichiri mukatonda, chigenda kuwa. Ewea katonda viva permanent. In my local Bible, Isaiah 58 and verse, sorry, 59 and verse 1. Lava omkono guwa mkama tegui mpawa de no kuyinza neguta yinza kukolokola. So, no kutu no kutu no kutu kwe gade no kuyinza ne kutayinza kuulira na ye obutali butukirivu wa mwe bwe bwa ude mwe ne katonda wa mwe ne bibibya mwe bye bimu kweseza amaso na atayagala kuulira nze esta te banimba you're going to lie to me and i keep quiet like this Nja kuwa ntude wano mkama alita amazima. Many of my friends have lied to my face like this. I am the type who keeps quiet and I ignore you. Nga bwechi mpitidi lako. Nga ansidika, I start withdrawing. Mpola, mpola. Na ino muze with one of my favorite, one of my favorite wangomu na soma na hecha amboko. Omusaji agendo kucha wanga ya kuwana tomu agala. Agendo kucha wanga wachitada. Agendo kuchuma nyati wachivamu. Nga chagwada. We would leave you to visit us. Netukufumbida chayo mkalu. Nikabani kamwana wakao. And I would look at how you eat. While talking. I would look at how you present yourself, look at your nails, look at me, hey, Esther. So that I understand which kind of man I'm going with. You're supposed to be my, 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 my president. How are you going to represent me? I'm going to be able to represent you. I'm going to be able to represent you. Those funny interviews, I'm going to be able to be able to represent you. I'm going to be able to represent you. Ngutabuka, ni mata niko kugira ni nonsense, uwe kwa wabanyizi. Ni ngambo ono, ono, the family I come from, most of my friends fear the family I come from, ababa manyi. Ni ngambo I need a man, nga taina guatia, nga nevu wa imi jida na yogira guati, budi omua atekayo. My father is not a very tall man. He's a man when he got saved. He does things God's way. Temu chite saku. Nga wa imi lido kogira what? Whether family, whether at work, whether church, tell ya dam. Babu uze wa vogira mazima. 
Waliyo gwe nsanze nga yewana nti bwo bato zimbye nyumba ato genda fuga na ne ntunda wentu ne ngamba lengera kapere e nyumba jatu gamba jazi ndiye vudde mu music gwayi mba senti zetumu twerekereza ne tujja ne tusupporting obuntu bwamwe ne muri ya senti za fene mugagawalara ku senti za fe kati kwe muyimiride kwe mtu manyirira na mu magala tufuga Abamu mubye bubi katonda tachirimu nekwe muyimirira ne muyimirira oko kubye mubi katika mbabuli le chibi cha mu chaba uladda yo alone read one more two scriptures and and we leave open your bibles in numbers if you were a mathematicians if if you were an accountant Go and read the book of Numbers. Numbers chapter 11. Numbers chapter 11. And verse 23. The Lord told, say to Moses, Is the Lord's hand, open bracket, ability, comma, power, close the bracket, limited, open the bracket, short, inadequacy, you shall see now whether my word will come to pass for you or not. Then open in Jeremiah. When God starts asking you questions. <laughs> anyway, kati kati good question. Yes, one has go the dinga the temple is the temple is full of, of I don't know. Let me leave the things your temple is full of. Just me lying chases away God. Boy, you get a mazmagak full of what they be. Ogena ngo limba avantu nti esta kubiro musajja. Oli kupote ya. Nze esta gogendo gamba avantu nti kubiro musajja. Kati guwe musirwe yu. Ya of course, naswala swari ya ababata manyi. Na ya abamanyi bamanyi cheso wala nechesi sofo. Gugene ngo gamba bantu ntinze na bomu sajja. Omu sajja ugwe na soku, ugwe na kusoku ukula. Mwango unafuku ya tume nyanyeri jiri. Na inze gamba yangu. Musobolo kule kila ukole nso hii. Ezige ndo bazi yu mavegane bu project yufu. There are some things you don't do. Simply because you want fame. Tofu na mu. Owa udedi hosi mwuriye. <laughs> Jeremiah chapter 5 and verse 25. Your wickedness has turned these blessings away and your sins have withheld good harvests, good harvests from you. For wicked men are found among my people. They watch like foals who lie in wait. They set a trap. They catch men as a cage is full of birds. So are their houses full of deceit and treachery. Therefore, they have become influential and rich. They are fat and they are sleek, prosperous. They excel in acts of wickedness. They do not plead the cause, the cause of the orphan, so that they, the wicked, may prosper. And they do not defend the rights of the poor. Shall I not punish them? For these things, says the Lord, shall I not avenge myself on such a nation as this? An appealing and honorable thing, bringing desolation and destruction, has come to pass in the land. The prophets prophesy false, false, falsely, they prophesy falsely, and the priests rule on their own authority, and my people love to have it so. But what will you do when the end comes? the book we often live as if god did not exist we make our own plans and work hard to accomplish them we develop ambitions i thought i knew many people in the six years i could not believe that i spent six years without working first of all the family i come from 
Secondly, I had gone to school. I have a degree, which is a second class. I, the things, like, I had looked at the things I had and the people I know, you, 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 who's watching me. And I was like, I My friend, when God wants to use you, I saw Kanaku Kamura Naku Jamo Wusir. Ogobari Wusir. When I went through that for six years, now I know better. I can never rely on anyone, never, because I've never done it. Since 2004, I've been doing it on my own, with my God, not man. Man comes in for a short time now, waiter, nachita, kubanga sikiche. I can survive anywhere, can you? I chose to give it to God so that it is God's way, not my way. When he told me in 2015, Esther, when 2015 was starting, starting there, Esther, stop writing your story. Let me write the story. Because me, I thought, too, I know very many people. I come from prestige. I've gone to prestigious schools. Eh, 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 eh. And it all started in senior four when my mom told me to fast and pray before my exams. And I gave excuses. Of I'm tired. Mom, I'm better and so many. Kumbo miyaya sitani na yantes. It all started there. We make our own plans and work hard to accomplish them. We develop ambitions and device ventures without any thought of what God expects of us. And usually when we decide to follow our own way instead of God's way, things start going awry. All. A-W-R-Y, we run into the pro proverbial proverb brick wall and start thinking that bad luck is hounding us. We became despondent and feel that it is useless to attempt anything because it will fail anyway. The truth of the matter is that our problem is not bad luck, but our deliberate disobedience to God's call to live a noble life. If things seem to be going wrong for you all the time, pause and consider why they are going awry. Are you choosing your own way instead of God's way? However desperate your circumstances may be, things can turn around if you abandon your own selfish way and choose God's perfect way. Being obedient to God and walking in his way will bring deliverance from even the most wretched circumstances. When I paused, because champ tididako. When I paused like this, I started pausing in 2013. That is the time I went for my surgery in Gastadeko at Dechkumi of three million Gaseoze. God used people and they stood in the gap because of my lifestyle. I've always stood in the gap. People gave me money. I have friends. They were like, no, we cannot lose you. Go for surgery. I had prayed in Gavirwa Devi Ganye. Ne mugamba mukama send a sign. Sagala kufira yo. Never to bar. The weekend before my surgery, I remember the days very well. It was October 2013. On the 2nd of October. But on Thursday, uh, in September, it was Thursday, the last days of, of September. Never to bar. I was in town, Gangenze Mo. We were graduating. I had gone for energy efficiency with Minister of Energy. We had a training of energy efficiency. By then, uh, Engineer Banova was an acting commissioner. Twaliku Protea, 
ne malo okuba ko pote ya ntude ne chali wange yo nga bulijonze ni no muzi nga ngenda mu office za wa chali wange ni nture yo we amalo kola ne bantu aloko auto so that i stay in the loop to see how people dress how people behave bya byantu alanga mu town bya byande tanga mu office za mwe bakwano bange because i love learning that is why my environmental engineering is like the back of my hand nebwenzo ko buzo kusibonti nonkona ko nongamba kutwala mu field for impact assessment i'm still sharp ate kati ndi sapa kubanga ate kati enaku zino emo pia tusomesa ne dawali ne echintu na chijja mu physical chili mu holy ghost mwerere covid 19 is an environmental issue what don't you see wash your hands the temple because before you go to the wali priest yali aino kunaba ngalo they wash the feet what are you talking about why are the masiki because <laughs> oh mama go go get a rubbish social distance wo kwatira ku worotali wali ngaga kuba ngofa read when david was a king the man who touched the ark na gweri to mana gayingira wongo dugala kudiruchi in the holy of holies you know kubango to kundi to mana gasalimbira yo bako ne chikuba to inza chimanya when solomon decided to defile himself katonda ya kuba tempo ne ya bika Oma na we na afanga lieri asiru walalimba kazi che mulinda and especially if you're chosen huge read your bible holy master your way for my life may seem be dim, may seem demanding and difficult but it is the only and the best way for my life i want to follow you every day of my life amen you're living in the old testament but in the new the so called grace muri mo new testament but you're living your life is in the old testament you don't want the things that happened in the old testament to come upon you past to come upon you leader you don't defile yourself after atonement who wrote the book of songs of songs atonement yali amazo kuko the priests were working solomon defiled the thing kama namlagira ko wele his father david a missed on building a house for god do you know why read your bible You know what God says about David? A man after God's own heart. Who are you? Genda ngo yonona mpola mpola. Before I go let me read for you something here that mesmerized me. Genesis chapter 5 and verse one. this is the book the written record the history of the generations of the descendants of adam when god created man he made him in the likeness of god not physical but a spiritual personality and moral likeness he created them male and female and blessed them and named them mankind at the time they were created when adam had lived 130 years he became a father of a son in his own likeness balinganga aba when abel died and god rejected canaan nafuka vagabond seth became the in thing who are you When Adam had lived 130 years he became the father of a son in his own likeness according to his image and named him Seth you are your father's likeness in your father's image now 
continue disrespecting your own father. You want a blessing, you're going to respect your own father. Oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the words thy hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder. Thy path throughout the universe displayed. Uh, then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Uh, then sing my soul, then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. And when I think of God, his sons not sparing, uh, sent him to die, I scarce can take it in. That on the cross, my burden gladly bearing, he bled and died to take away my sin. And then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. When Christ shall come with shout of acclamation, and let me home, what joy shall fill my heart. Then I shall bow with humble adoration and then proclaim, My God, how great thou art. And then sing my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art. How great thou art, then sings my soul, my Savior, God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. If you are in the image of God, be careful how do you do things your way. It is time to choose God's way because you are the loser. He ain't the loser. He ain't. You are replaceable. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time. I plead the blood of Jesus over this life. Father, I pray that he comes with deliverance. Father, edit it and remove everything that is mine and only present what's yours. I'm just a vessel. I'm just a message carrier. I'm just a mobile phone. I'm just... A computer when a computer gets corrupted they, it only sends bad images lord i never want to be corrupted to send bad images to send wrong messages i never want to delete your messages because i know what happens the price you have to pay when you start lying when you start sending the wrong messages i know what happens lord i pray for the men and women who take their time off when i didn't even send them data to learn. Father, bless each and every one who is walking right with you, who is obedient enough to allow other people teach them. Father, you gave us an environmental management plan, the EMP, to follow during COVID-19. Lord, I know you're going to ask for a report, an audit report. I pray that when you move around, you visit each one of us with that audit report. We will be able to stay with our licenses of life, to be able to operate the way you want. Because the chief auditor is soon coming. When you did not comply, they take away your license of operation. Father, I pray 
that people understand your ways and how you speak. Each one of us is supposed to know how you speak. Each one of us is supposed to carry the Holy Spirit because we are the temple where he sits and reigns. Clean us. Father, I thank you for each and every one that comes on the front line. Lord, I thank you for Excellent. I thank you for Jonathan. I thank you for Moses. I thank you for Alice. I thank you for Henry. Lord, when I mention a name, you work with names. When people go to the shrine, they mention our names. And whatever they send to us just attacks. And if it finds us when we are not hidden in the Lord, we get affected so bad. Father, that's a principle they got from the Bible. And they used it to kill us all. Father, I pray for the people who come on the front line. People who don't fear anything come to the front line. Because for them, they don't fear people associating them with other people who are called wrong, who are called liars, who are called false. Lord, enlarge their camps, enlarge their territories, bless the works of their hands. You know each one of them and what they're going through. Come through for them, Lord. Father, I pray for those who sit in the Jidash. There are those who sit in the in the upper room there and they just watch from there. Those who do share, those who do, because that's how we spread the word of God. Lord, bless them. Enlarge their territories. And those who watch later, bless them. And everyone else, and those who don't watch, Lord, bless them where they are. And visit each one of them. One thing I know, that when you speak, you fulfill your word. Your hand is not too short. To deliver Uganda and other nations out of COVID-19. I pray for the sick, heal them. Let your will be done in their lives. Father, enlarge people's camps and territories, their projects. Supply. Supply for us, Lord, because you have it all. Psalms 24 says, the earth is full and its fullness and everything in it and the world belong to the Lord. Father, give your people because it is a tough season. We need you more than ever before. I give you praise. I give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name, I believe and pray. Amen and amen. I'll see you around. Tomorrow is Thursday. Our class for Samsonians is still on. We need to understand when you're chosen, what do you do and what don't you do? You don't want to end up like some of the characters in the but when I look around like this, some of you are like the characters in the Bible and they are mistakes and they are positives and negatives. It's time to find out who you are, whose character you're carrying in the word of God. I love you. God bless you. We are still standing with Bombo for TV. Standing in the gap has helped me to survive very bad waves in my life. I'm alive because I stand in the gap. You better try it and see if it works for you. If it doesn't work, it's fine. I love you. Take care of yourself. Watch the EMP as a must. God bless you. On the 9th, there is worship harvest. And uh, we still have Hakiza and uh, Apostle Bunjo, Mulinde and Apostle Chimuli. We have several things. Hamke has a, 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 a CD, a new album for the season. Go and enjoy yourselves. It is all for free. Yes, yes, I saw them COVID-19. Bye-bye.